grow foreskin back, you fucked it. So maybe go to the doctor after and see if they can stitch it back on or whatever. But yeah, you can't you can't do that. What did you think it was? Uh, the big clit. Oh, the big clit. Big clit. Are we are live we, in seventy two countries? We are live for the season finale <laughs> of Marty. <laughs> And Michael, fully actual podcast. And it is like a hundred degrees. It's very hot. And man, do we have a jam-packed episode for you dogs. <sighs> Woo! Woo! We got Lockie and Jackson sitting in the corner sweating. Now everyone can see how fucking sweltering it is. You wait till you get in front of these lights. And it's just so hot. We'll be glistening. <laughs> we'll be shining brightly. <laughs> We got P.O. Box. Look at these two fucking... We got three huge packages. We got fucking some... Oh, some no! super hot chili peanuts to eat. I about them. We you, got... Are you going to do them, Jackson? What is it? It's some hot peanuts. Lockie will do five. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's fucking happened the last week? No one even knows. It's been... We're nearly... We nearly did it. We're nearly on holidays. We got like another... Two, oh, two videos oh. to film and then we can fucking relax for a, for a month. And my, we're going to try and get some content out on the podcast YouTube channel uh, during the break, but uh, no promises. I might do, you know, we might do a <coughs> cheeky prank all here and there. Um, and other than that, content will still be coming out on all our socials, on all our website, everywhere. So don't fucking worry, all right? God, we're just having a break. Mm. Which reminds me, this podcast is brought to you by the University of Markle. If you want to support us in making videos, subscribe to our website. We will be starting vlogging only on the website next year. And the price goes up by $2 either end of January or beginning of Feb. All right, so fucking get in there because it doesn't affect current members. Only new members, the price goes up, eh? Isn't that clever, Matt? Do you brown. Yes. Hey, isn't that smart how we did that? Fucked everyone like that. You're not naked See, today. So like quickly sign yeah, up, I'm otherwise really it's going to cost more. You should be naked. Very it's clever. Jackson's here. I got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <coughs> some, some pretty fucking disgusting on these days, Matt. I'm a bit like grossed out to even read it, but I'll do it because, you know, I do my bit for the podcast. <laughs> this is your bit for the podcast? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Fucking disgusting. Oh, 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 oh. And if these are true, I I don't want to be in this world. Anyway. <sighs> on this day in 2010, Thomas the Tank Engine checked himself into rehab after it was revealed he was using meth to power his engine rather than coal. Thomas claims that the fat controller is responsible for the addiction and switched a percentage of the trains to meth to deal with the huge workload the trains had. Unfortunately, Thomas never recovered mentally and was found dead in his one-bedroom apartment after he slit his tire wheel things with a sharpened toothbrush and bled out. <laughs> Ooh, what a sad beginning. Anyway, let's move on. On this day in 2019, Gwyneth Paltrow, so last year, Gwyneth Paltrow had another child. She named her new baby boy Cunt Fist. Gwyneth is known to come up with unique names for her children, like Apple, and says the name Cuntfist holds a lot of sentimental value to her and reminds her of her childhood. Cuntfist Paltrow is one years old today, so happy birthday, mate. <laughs> Holy shit. Cuntfist, is she the one chick from old. Shallow Hal? Yeah, it is. Yeah, she always thinks of weird names for her kids, so it makes sense, like Cuntfist. Didn't she have the kids with the Coldplay Donald singer? Trump? I think she had a few with him. Now she's oh, spitting them out to some other dog. <laughs> <laughs> I thought oh, that, that was, was you. you. That. <clears throat> <clears throat> On this day in 2002, Liam Neeson had his passport stolen from him by a monkey in Bali while holidaying there. Liam spent the next six months hunting the monkey that stole his passport, savagely murdering and torturing hundreds of monkeys along the way. One report even stated that Liam was seen pinning a monkey down with his knees and ripping its skull off its body <laughs> while screaming, Where is my fucking passport? The monkey population has since halved in Bali, but Liam found his passport. It was in his hotel room. Fucking hell. Have you guys seen the videos of the monkeys in Thailand going mental because there's no like there's no um Passports? tourists there to feed them and stuff? So what they're starving. Oh, they're going crazy. There's a video of like a hundred monkeys fighting over like a 
bit of food. I'm watching that after this. I'll show you. It's oh, good. that sounds exciting. I'd love to scatter pingers, pingers in yeah. food and just see what happens <laughs> just to one clan of them or MDMA and see them be like empathetic and shit. Oh man, they die. Or give yeah, one a they grenade. Might die. They might die. If yeah. you give them little doses, like tiny little doses. Teach them how to use guns. I don't know. It, um, yeah, like they, they've been like attacking people and that for because they want food. They're hungry. I'm just imagining how hot it is for them. <laughs> <laughs> Lockie's oh. just sitting there. Looks like he's sweating bullets. Swell I'm through. struggling, so I can't imagine. It is fucking hot in oh, here, guys. It's so humid. I can't believe Let's you have to it. spend an entire summer in this fucking Wait for the hot oh, well, I've got my industrial fan. What for the reaction of the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Jackson went oh, for a wee wee and saw the shit spatter all over the bowl. It's the worst toilet. <laughs> yeah, well, fucking. Michael. What do you expect? Like 50 bucks for a cleaner. Of this. <laughs> Dude, it's not his job. <laughs> <laughs> all right, last on this day. On this day in 2015, Lionel Messi was fined $15,000 for crushing the windpipe of a 12 year old boy during a track training accident. Messi said he thought the boy was the team's goalkeeper and wanted to prank him by driving the ball at him as hard as he could. <laughs> he thought the keeper would jump out of the way, but the 12-year-old boy, who was terminally ill, simply didn't have the energy to move and the ball struck him right in the throat. The Make-A-Wish Foundation said although he got hurt, his wish of training with his favourite soccer team was still fulfilled and he won't be getting a do-over. Oh, tough shit. That's what happens sometimes, Make-A-Wish kids. Life, life throws you fucking curveball sometimes, so fucking, <coughs> you, you fucking deal with it. Holy shit. I remember Wayne Rooney for Manchester booted a ball in training and it went, oh, I was sorry, before a game and it went into the crowd and broke the arm of a small kid. Really? Wow. Yeah, I can't believe that hasn't hard. happened in cricket. You see the fuckers yeah, I know. You see slamming the sixes into the crowd Has all the time. Has a crowd person ever died? You'd think so, but I don't in know. Cricket? I've never, looked, up, yeah. never looked it up. But it's surely, surely that would have happened before. If that fucking ball hits you in the head, you're dead. If you're a little little boy or girl. Oh, man. They have? Phil Hughes. Yeah, he tried to catch... He tried... Nothing. Wasn't he batting? Yeah, he was batting. batting. Like he's in using the bat? And he used his skull to deflect. So his helmet was shit. Yeah, fuck. Right, that's what it was. sad day in Australian sports. So Donald Bradman. Oh, I've got some numbers. Man, dude, look at the sweat. Dude, I'm fucking like... It's just thick, <sighs> hot air. Have air conditioning. <laughs> well, they didn't <laughs> come with that. <laughs> Jackson's always so disappointed when he comes to this <laughs> shit hole. <laughs> yeah. He didn't have any toilet paper for weeks. He brought his own, he said today. Oh, he had to have a shower after his shit because that's I'm the norm now. And then he goes in the shower and it doesn't even work. It like has the shittest <laughs> stream <laughs> ever. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's do the questions while Jackson's um, sitting here. Um, um, Roger. So... um. So now we're going to bring on our first guest. Our first guest. I'll get out of the way. You can jump in the. Um, actually, I'll move over and you can sit here. Um, right. He is. Uh, he's fucking. He's fucking. He's on social media. <coughs> You've probably heard of him, uh, Jackson O'Doherty. If you haven't, uh, go and give him a follow. He's just sort of starting out. Um, so have a look at his shit. See what you think. Um, he's doing quite well. And he's got one of the biggest OnlyFans in the world. Yeah. Good energy, everyone. Great energy. Great energy. Do I look at the camera? Um, you can look wherever the fuck you want. <clears throat> Just make sure you don't maintain eye contact with Matt for too long because he gets like I feel really far sexual. from you. Yeah, it's friskified. <laughs> Hello everyone, it might have been a while, and yes, I know, I look fat, my hair looks shit, and I'm a bit irrelevant now, I'm not funny anymore, and I do porn and stuff, <laughs> fucking shut up, just shut the fuck up, <laughs> alright, I do porn, just shut up, I fucking love it. Yeah, so, so I'm still a nice fucking person, alright? But you did, have a, you did have a goal going into OnlyFans, and you, you achieved that goal. If you're going to do something, you do it right. Yeah, exactly. I right. should probably speak into this. But yes, I have been uh, filming new content lately. Actually, I'm a little bit over the porn game now. And yes, I know my children are going to see it. Fucking who cares? So, so you're, you're coming <laughs> it's back. It's sort of hot. It is sort of hot. Not for children, but I mean for me. Yeah. And like people are like, oh, what are your kids going to think? I'm like, 
My kids are going to think that their parents are legends when they invite their entire school over for a fucking pool party at their mansion. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh, dick. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> fucking dick. <laughs> I'm getting so, a bit fired up. Sorry, oh. guys. It's bloody good to see you. That was just a G up. But you are you are coming back. You're coming back to I the... Am. What are you going to be doing? I am making a bit of a return to social media. Is this good how I'm speaking? Yeah, you're good. It's nice and clear. Put a fist in front of it. You're good. I just got into the, the, old, the old adult industry for a little because I met my lady friend and, um, you know, she was already doing it. And I just thought, fuck it. Like, people have seen me naked. And, you know, it's a win-win because now, one, no one can leak my nudes or sex tapes. I don't have to worry about someone holding anything against me. Two, I made a lot of money out of doing it. And three, I fucked a lot of pretty girls for it. Yeah, so, yeah, we're exactly right. If you And I remember before you did start OnlyFans, there was a lot of videos of your dick already out there anyway. Exactly. So there's nothing to really lose in doing it. And, you know, the world's normalizing sex so much. And the people that hate or have a problem on pornography, is it's kind of weird because everyone watches porn, masturbates, has sex, Matt, loves movies. Matt fucking loves with, it. I've heard that Matt loves it. And, you know, everyone watches movies and TV shows and music videos with sexual stuff in it and nudity. And it's like they just hate it when someone makes money out of it, which is fair enough. Cool. Whatever the world is the way it is. I love you all. Um, and, yeah, I kind of forget what your question was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's well, everyone. What's, what's everyone's biggest fucking what, what's the most annoying thing that people say about this shit? Because it was you were getting fucking some so many so many people who were against it when you first started because you were like the first the first fucker now everyone's doing it yeah to be fair the hate was there for like the first maybe maximum the first month like the first week or two people got over it but in all fairness i was posting some pretty funny shit on there it wasn't just hardcore porn like there was a bit of comedy and stuff mixed in with the sexualized stuff which i personally think's funny yeah and game of thrones game of thrones exactly underbelly we're saying names of shows <laughs> underbelly Power, <laughs> Curtis Jackson, Bl Cent. Blue Healers back in the nineties was a great <laughs> show. You, had, you got fucking Home and Away. Oh, Neighbors. You got the Logies. Nothing Logies. Wrong. Arthur. There's nothing wrong with fucking. Yeah, well, you got you you fucked and you got you, you you did what you wanted to do. You got you got you fucking set yourself up and now you can go back to making social media videos. So and everyone was like, oh, "It's going to ruin your career." And it was like, it didn't do anything to my career. I'm already known as a fucking idiot. Like I'm just a guy on the internet who makes dumb, messed up somewhat offensive videos here and there and i've been throwing up on my friends and getting pissed on and lighting fireworks on fucked up shit for years i think the least of my concern is having sex on camera or whatever my dick's this big that's what makes this even better <laughs> it is not that small oh, on the flop like on the hard it's like a uh, bloody jack jackhammer though isn't it <laughs> so what are you gonna do oh, so man. next year you're going back to you're, you're, you're leaving us again aren't you I would love to play a porno right now alright well fuck it show let's, us some of your work let's mate do, let's my phone's some, next to Matt let's, let's get some OnlyFans esque content here Lockie can you come over here and just show everyone your um your dick <laughs> it's so Jackson's got, Jackson's we did a threesome the other day with a married friend of ours uh, Isabel and it was really fun If we can have this on, but you can have it's just sound. <laughs> oh yeah, the sound's gonna be good. His tongue's in an asshole right now. <laughs> Not my girlfriend's asshole either. <laughs> <laughs> that moaning is him. There you go. I can't fucking. I can't have a. It's something about mates watching mates. I'm just fuck. trying to describe it. That he's jackhammering as hard as he can. <laughs> You hear the voice? That's 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 Maddie encouraging me. She's a fucking legend. <laughs> <laughs> fucking legend. Oh, that's oh good. man. That's good I think. Shit. I mean, I know everyone's got mixed opinions, and I support and respect every relationship out there. But for me personally, I think it's smart that Maddie lets us do threesomes and has fun because it gives me. I'm never going to cheat now. And it's business. Yeah, you it's a business. Money. It's cash. It's like some guys only cheat because they get a bit bored of sex. If you keep your sex life entertaining, you're not going to cheat. If you, as long as you don't get feelings for the other person, you're fucking and stuff. It's it's just a bit of whatever. Um, do you reckon you'll <laughs> you, do you reckon you'll have kids one day? No, probably not. Oh, well, there you can't go. Even keep a dog for so, two months. So alone mo a kid. most of the arguments of people saying, "Oh, your kids will see," it, they won't if you don't have one. You I might just, have one for a bit. Yeah, we're just a trial adoption or something. <laughs> can you do that? Can you do a trial adoption? Well, yeah, I'm like sure, foster surely, kids. Hmm. surely you can go to one like of them bloody one. countries and bloody just I look after one child. for a bit. 
I might get a black child. <laughs> like Brangelina. Yeah. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie got black kids. Why can't I? Yeah, well, there you go. I look think... how well it worked out for them. What happened? I think they got divorced. They got because divorced. of the kids. And is he back with Angela? Or is that just no, he's, he's dating fucking... No. No, the, is Jennifer, he back with the friends Jen- girl. Yeah, is he back there's, with there's huge rumors he's dating Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, that's the I've one, seen, Jennifer I've Aniston. Seen it. It's all over the fucking woman. There's another lady that. as well who's not hot. Brad um, Pitt's fucking. Do you know Brad Pitt doesn't even have an Instagram account? Yeah, wow. I don't get- he's that cool. He doesn't even want social media. <laughs> Maybe he he invented Instagram. I think he did. That's why he doesn't have Tom. it. That would make sense. <laughs> but yeah, all in all, I'm excited to come back and start making some funny shit again. I mean, this year with COVID, it's just fucking it was such a write off year. Yeah, it's anyway. been such a shit fucking year. It's just like fuck it. And I just was, I just used my brain and thought, so many people are stuck in their countries or inside quarantining, isolating, curfews, wanking, blah, wanking. And it's like people are getting all these government checks and that. And then what are you going to spend it on? Like maybe drugs and alcohol. But how long till that gets boring? You're going to go on Netflix, Amazon, buy movies, buy porn, all this shit. Like there's nothing else to spend your money. You can't go out to dinners. Well, you can now, but. Never used to for a while. I had to go for dinners. The gyms were shut in America anyway. So fuck it. Yeah, dude. It's 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 I want made. You guys to make an OnlyFans. Yeah, we've 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 we've, that we've often said worst case scenario if the website goes to shit and everything gets all our accounts gets deleted, we'll just make a make an OnlyFans, make a really hard sex tape, Is and old any... Michael just be running away from me in the Can house. And I'll be just <laughs> crazy. It sounds a bit like and, a rapey and Ma- I'm not gonna men- if that ever happens. I'm not gonna tell Michael what we're doing. I'm just gonna walk <laughs> through the fucking door, wild eyed, <laughs> tear my shirt off, and then he'll know and start running around, and I'll I'll pin him. Down you and, have and a camera on the top of your head. <laughs> a GoPro. A GoPro on my <laughs> shaft and on my head. Oh. And then it begins. Cat and mouse. We'll call it cat and mouse. Oh. <laughs> Who is this? Is there any countries in the world that bestiality is legal? Yes, Kazakhstan. Really? No. Nah. No, I think I think that's true. It's fucking hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> look at it, dude. Look at my arms. Uh, yeah. These cunts like make good enough money to supply their own houses with air conditioning. <laughs> Jackson gets so have a normal toilet and toilet paper it's, and a shower and a car. Jackson always gets so annoyed because we have the shittest cars and there's always something wrong with them. And the shit. Hey, I've had houses. a shit car before, but you gotta make sure the cunt works. <laughs> yeah, uh, Michael's car is hanging off. Like it's like it's covered in coins and shit. <laughs> it's my wallet. <laughs> It's my wallet. Yeah, it's your big wallet, baby. <laughs> I'm practicing for our OnlyFans. Oh. How many people are watching these now? I don't know. It's hard to say. It's a split audience between YouTube and um and Spotify. All I know is they're all they're, they're fucking they're good. Oh, you, you got this on Spotify? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Spotify. we got audio downloads. I think we had about five thousand audio listens last week. It's pretty groovy. But this then is, this is like the eighth bed po- best podcast in Australia now. <laughs> there is this only is eight. Choice Award. Ah, oh, fuck! Everyone, look away! Look away, everyone! Move! Okay. <laughs> oh no! Please. Oh, that was a shit one. It didn't last long. <laughs> Looks so sweaty. You think that has a Looks place? So sweaty. Can you put this on YouTube like that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh man, that really took it out of me. It's been a busy few days. <laughs> He's been saving it. <laughs> oh, man, now I know. What... Why is the floor so fucking wet? I don't know. I think it's that sweat. It's a... I hate this house. <laughs> <laughs> my fuck! I'm trying to put my feet down and be comfy. And they're just doing this. <laughs> yeah, they're just because... fucking moving. Oh, my sweat. Oh, you oh, fucking my so sweat. <laughs> Yum. I'm sweaty Yum. boy. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> yeah, but next year next oh. year, but are you going to be in America or Australia? You don't know yet. Oh. He's showing everyone his jaw and f- chiseled face. I mean, you're missing out if you're listening to it. Jump on I was funny YouTube. until the Botox. <gasps> oh, you got Botox? Yeah, fuck yeah, I did. So mad. <laughs> nah, I got a little bit under my eyes. Some people are born fucked like me. Sometimes your eyes are just always souping down, looking black, and people are making fun of me. I got insecure and I beat up my missus and did that. Yeah, I remember when you <laughs> slammed her real hard. Eh? You fucking punched that bitch cunt. <laughs> I Maddie. Really. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. Me. <laughs> um, what were you saying about America? Oh, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Is this my H tour? You can have some, man. I don't want it. 
Yeah, maybe. Maybe America. I don't know. We'll see where the wind takes me. I want to go and do a bunch of DMT, see how I feel after that. And then- yeah, yeah. Jackson was saying before that he's... Never he, done it. He feels like it's time for some sort of psychedelic to maybe snap, to, to give him some direction. Maybe that- the porn was just an accident. Why are you leaning so far away? Why don't you lean in closer it's with so me? It's so fucking hot. Oh, come dude, on, baby. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm just like, whatever now. Just embrace it and let oh, me I be stayed, with you. I would stay hey! the- I would stay at a hotel if this was my house. <laughs> like, I'd be here stuffy. during the days or something. I would just fuck this house up for content. Well, let's have, we got some fucking chilies to eat. It's going to be so fucking hot here. Pop that in your bloody mouth and have a bit of a chew on that, mate. Oh. <laughs> oh, your bloody teeth though, brother. Oh. <laughs> Michael's oh. leaning right He's away so from the sweaty. microphone. Yeah, some in the He's middle. literally just dripped on me. Yuck, wow. you did. Dude, I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> All right, let's do some fucking questions and get this Oh, yeah, shit I forgot about the fucking questions. Let's hear some. I don't understand. Like, why wouldn't you want to just make this? Oh, like- you're fucking rubbing it on me. Shh. Hey, oh. hey, come on. Like, if you go to work and do a podcast, make it nice and cool. Yeah, you're right. Next next year, we can't have this problem again. Because this will this will stop. This will, like, I don't even want to be in this room anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, dude, we got to fucking. Uh, we got to. Like, I finished Assassin's Creed Valhalla in forty hours. Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> you tell them the truth. <laughs> I finished forty hours of gameplay and then watched the rest on YouTube. <laughs> Still on the first mission. Oh, all right, Matt, no, let's... I just do it with all games. It just, it's not that fun doing it for too long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it. some powerful AD. That forty man. hours, mind you, was in like less than a week, and I have other shit to do. Like, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you got to work. Yeah, I want to just do a bunch of DMT and see where it takes me. Yeah, Fuck that's a you! Good idea. I think I'm ready. You shut up! He's fucking ringworming. We'll get a better house. <laughs> All right, right Mel, let's start these, these guys. All right, first question came in from Sam Warner. Um, what are the what are your three favorite words in English? Salamander's great. Well, Salamander's a good word. That's a, yeah. that's a suburb in my hometown. Salamander. Salamander. It's also a uh, type of lizard, I believe. It actually is a suburb in my hometown. In Newcastle? Not that I talk about my shitty hometown, but... Um, Memphis? Yeah. I like the word Memphis. And Snot? Snot's good. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing oh, up there. There's oh, a little bit of chalky, baby. Oh, Snot, yeah. That's- <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Snot. Um, Trump lost. Uh, fucking, what else? Uh, Favourite word, fuck. Fuck's is just classic, good... And um, like t- take. <laughs> one? Take. Take's a decent word. That's dece. It's got a lot of meaning. It's got a lot next of volume. Uh, next question oh. is from Lossip. Uh, would Would you go to somebody's funeral who didn't go to yours? Um, Where? How do you How do you know that? I think that's the trick of the question. Uh, yes, I probably would. Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah. Just because someone's mean you to you doesn't mean you do it yeah. back. Two wrongs don't make a funeral. Because you <laughs> might die and they don't go to yours, but then when they die and you're a spirit, you can go to theirs as spirit. Exactly. That's just fucking stupid. Michael, you've ruined the podcast. Next question is from Holly. Um, this is for Jackson. Uh, Jackson, where do you see the state of OnlyFans in the next five years? Fuck, I don't even think it's got a solid year left, to be honest. Ooh. Like... Oh, I mean, it very well might. I'm pretty sure there's a few hundred million users. There's more users. More people have a, uh, an OnlyFans account than on Twitter right now. Really? Holy fuck. Do you average, think- there's around 350 to 400 million on uh, uh, Twitter, sorry. And I believe there is now more on OnlyFans. Wow. They've paid fun. out a billion dollars to their creators in less than 12 months. How fucked is that? God, they'd be so rich right now. Do you think OnlyFans is only really booming because we got stuck in quarantine? Fucking oath. 100%. Because yeah. you've had Snapchat premium, Pornhub premium. You have it all... Like, OnlyFans isn't the first thing to do this stuff. Like it, it is kind of their own platform. Like there's never been something like that where you can go live and post stories and do messages. And it literally is just like having Instagram. Really. Oh, you can go live on there as well. You can go live on there. Really? You can comment, you can like, you can message people. It's it's pretty cool how they've set it up. But like, I do think a lot has come down to it being COVID and stuff. But at the same time, you've had people like Cardi B and Bella Thorne, that actor, a Tiger. You've had some huge A-list celebrities mm. jump on it this year and like- I think it's just it's just blown it up. It's like people aren't really even hating anymore. I mean, they probably are, but what can well, you there'd hate? Be, there'd be too much to hate now. Like, literally, so many people have. Well, it's like I I saw a lot of people put me down when I started, and within three months, they're fucking on me doing it. Yeah, of course. As soon as someone does something new, no one likes change. And I don't really care. Change. I don't really care about getting hated in the beginning. Like it's just same as everything. It's like 
any video we do, there's always going to be people that hate it. Like, yeah, well, people were very nasty when we started our subscription website. Yeah. I remember they said very nasty things in my Michael Cry. Sell yeah, out. So sad. Mm. Yeah, sell but out. But how, how is it being a sellout? Yeah, that's what we explain to people. It's, we, we want to put these videos on social media, and if they were shown to everyone, then we yeah, would. Then why don't you post it to the website for free? Well, it's just like, why would you hurt yourself and do disgusting shit and put all this work in for zero like obviously we are like people don't make social media content purely for money like i think that's the long-term goal is to make financial freedom out of doing it but you do it because you enjoy it but when instagram and facebook and youtube and tiktok and twitter and all this shit take your content down and fuck with you i think it takes the fun out of it and it's like well fuck what am i doing it for i'm putting in all this effort and time wasting all of my money i'm just making myself broke to entertain others other people that will forget about me the day that I stop making videos. So fuck it, do a website, charge a few dollars. People that really enjoy your stuff and are invested in your content and like you as people will support you and spend that few dollars. You don't hear the 100 million people with a Netflix account whinging about their yeah, $5 dollars exactly. they pay and, and, and as long as we're still making content for the people who can't afford it, which is what we're doing. So it's like, fuck off. It's just, it's just an extra thing. It's like you're still making free content. You're still doing anything. You're still engaging. You're making more harmless content. But it's like people aren't going to go to a fucking boxing match or watch something on Foxtel or a pay-per-view sport or go to the cinema and expect to see things for free. It's entertainment. Yeah, and plus now social media with all the restrictions, we, no one sees our videos anyway. So even if we wanted, we, even if we were us. allowed to, <laughs> we just uh, so we don't make any fucking money from That's social media. That's half the reason I did OnlyFans as well. He's like... I'm fucking sick of not like you can't kiss someone on social media unless you're fucking some little American prick. But like being here, I feel like we get super fucking targeted in this country because the people that work in social media here, not going to mention names or go down this route, but I think like they I hate think it, kangaroos. They do. They just so lay. They're so far behind the times here in America. Every creator gets like a fucking a person from every single platform to be like their partner manager who'll be like look this video might get taken down in a day if you don't remove it or hi don't do this stuff or do you need any help any answers any questions here it's like fuck you fuck you fuck you and it's like once you grow to a level in australia and you outgrow that micro influencer circle of people it's like they just throw you to the wolves and they literally come after you it's like the australian social media people do not want to see you make money where in america they support it and they help you they work together but yeah, it is very hard to get support in Australia for it. It's a very I think, American I think it's a good culture here. I do think like there is a lot of people that are cool in this country, but it also out of everywhere I've lived, I've done a year or two in the UK. I've spent nearly all year in America and I've done trips everywhere. And I don't know if it's just because we're from Australia that we notice it, but I feel like Australia is a pretty like lower supporting sort of place. It's like that tall poppy syndrome. Yeah, 100%. It's like there's not a lot of people doing these big things. And it's like, whether you look at that Tones and I, that singer, she's fucking constantly getting roasted, hated. She's some harmless young woman who makes awesome music and she's getting hated because of either the way she looks or the way her voice sounds. Like, fucking, if you don't like her, just shut up. You I know? I didn't realize that she was getting Dude, hate. she gets heaps of Who hate. is she? That. that that's the one i like her i think she makes cool music but like it's just an example and it's like yeah i mean you're not always going to be loved by everyone unless you're the rock or locky or locky locky's pretty loved. next question is from holtz or holtz um if aliens came down how would you guys interact with them I'd fucking hug this shit out of them oh dude i wouldn't be confrontational you? at all what, uh, if it, what if you go to hug it and it jolts i'd let if it live it, with me yeah I'd, i wouldn't run at it I'd, I'd slowly approach it and with my arms out a big smile on my face and um and just take all my clothes off and give it a give it a gentle little hug because that if they wanted to kill us they would have done it already do you reckon aliens have an age or are they just them they're they're well yeah i, I think it yeah. they're just there i they think it varies they don't have them. a lot of them don't have sex organs a lot of them would have worked Damn out <laughs> living forever i reckon I want everyone to know watching that I'm not having anxiety right now. I just have a bad problem with picking my nails and skin. I think it might be Tourette's. Well, you're bleeding quite profusely. Yeah. <laughs> Next question is from Dan Dor. Um, what is your favorite animal? Um, oh, mine is a cow, weirdly. It's fucking dumb. Cows I think are, they're cute, but I don't want to fuck I don't them. I think they're my... In a way, cows are my favorite and least favorite because of the, <laughs> what they bring out in me. That fuck rage, <laughs> but probably a dog or a um husky a dog, or a good. fucking uh, like a weasel. <laughs> a weasel? Yeah, yeah. I, I like fucking I like, weasels. You know what? In all honesty, I like platypus. Mm. Oh yeah, they got those little poisonous they can spurs sting. on them. Yeah. Yeah, platypuses look cool though. Mm, slip away a little fast. And a king cobra, I like Very king cobra. Timid, mm, like that. We saw one once, remember? Yeah. A king cobra in Australia? Oh, sorry, platypus. Oh. <laughs> I don't think there is that. Yeah, maybe. 
Um, next question is from Coke Penguin. Um, no offense in any way, but does Marty partially support Hitler's beliefs? Look, I, I understand why. Like, it makes sense that someone would ask that. You know, Without because that beard, of, you would because be. of my behaviour. But um, look, I can't say I can't say that that genocide is um, is a value of mine. So no. What is it? Genocide. Yeah. Roger. Fuck. Um, next one is from Stoner Life. Um, would you ever do a video uh, going out in public as Arnold Fine? Yeah, but I don't, I don't, people would just be like, like you have to have the outfit. Let so, me rewind a bit. Who is that? Arnold Fine is a prank call character. This Russian guy. He's Russian or German or a mixture. Of he's Russian, Russian, but he has. He's, a he's, is it open for interpretation? Yeah. All right. So he's Czech Republican. Yeah. Could be. It could be, but and I don't. I don't think people would react that much. You need to do something fucked for people to react. But maybe I we'll try. I'll try it. When's the last time you guys filmed like a public prank video? Yeah, I know. We, we, we want to film do one. It. Yeah, I know. Mm. Well, it gets harder for them because, especially in prison, because they get recognised quite quickly, especially in like we should probably centers. go up to Townsville, yeah, or, or just yeah. to Edge Rock or something. There's no colour TV there. Shit. Well, that fucking scratches that. What are you doing, mate? I'm itching. Can you stop? I'm itching. I'm like hot. I know, dude. It's fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> Next question is from Kyle. Um, would you guys ever be up for an overnight stay at a haunted house to yep. film for a next, blog? Next year, our content's going to be a bit different. It's not going to be just quickly getting video after video out. We're going to put a bit more time and effort in. And fucking oath, we're going to go to some haunted houses. Mm. We're going to go try to find aliens. We're going to... What do you want to do? You want to go... I want to go to bakeries. Got, Michael wants to visit all the different types of bakeries and just find out who has the best sausage rolls. I have an idea. If anyone's... In, when you mentioned aliens, yes. we should go to... Uh, Nevada we should dress oh. up as, as all of us dress up as Ned Kelly and the gang and we should walk into Area 51 oh, should we do the racker racker and line up at the front gate no but they didn't go in like, oh he didn't did he no they just sort of stood the front they just had we, a big party there if we get enough drones we could harness ourselves to them and fly ourselves in <laughs> dressed as Ned Kelly we won't get killed because it's bulletproof exactly <laughs> are you guys shooting what more vlogs next year yeah your vlogs will be on the websites yeah. you're doing more vlogs as well aren't you Jackson <laughs> Was that sorry? You're going to start doing more vlogs again. I am going to start yep. doing vlogs again. I'm going to probably go down to Adelaide in January and catch up with the Racka Racka guys, maybe yes. start shooting vlogs. But it's uh, it's a fucking tricky situation right now. It's just like, I, I, I get fucking my ADHD and impulsive behaviors and stuff. I just get so fucking bored so quick. I saw you kill someone. Mm -hmm. mm. But like, I get bored quick. And I know if I start vlogging, I'm probably going to, I need to change shit. You know, I want to do a couple of months here. Then I want to go somewhere else and- I want to go to the UK, then fucking do some Europe or some shit and go through Thailand and eat fucked up foods and do gross shit and yeah, sleep do, with a transgender. You, are, you, you jump around like a, like a fucking a human flea. I, I think it's the only thing that keeps me sane. Like when somehow I'm in, it's worked. Somehow it's just worked out. That's my, been my plan my whole life is like no matter what I've got doing at the time, whether I own a house or rent the house, or whatever, it's like if things get boring for me or if I get a bit into a bit of a rut mentally, I just pack a little bag and jump on a plane and then I'll just come back when I'm happy again. <laughs> yeah. Leave the bag there and just bring a whole new load shit back. <laughs> I know when I left the house in Brisbane a couple of years ago and I ended up spending like seven months out of the country in the UK and that Scott had to like move all my shit out of the house and everything because I just left everything and <laughs> he left my car at Nigel's and I left it there for like a year of getting tickets. What the fuck? Tickets. That's right. Whatever happened with that? It just Jason, eventually went away like all things. <laughs> just leaves his car on the side of the road and then eventually it's just gone and, and nothing, no one's ever heard from it again. <laughs> no, no shit. It literally had like a hundred police sticker things on it, fine after fine, which I never fucking paid. Oh my God. Yeah, really, Where the fuck is fines, that car? You, you Someone took the plates it. off. That wasn't a bad car. That was probably worth like, yeah, what, dude, at least 10? Uh, the only reason we didn't take it is because it was unregistered. Maybe, maybe like six grand by the time, because it was a Volkswagen Jetta and the diesel in it was fucking amazing. It was a bit dirty and that was some scratches from me being careless. But like, but like you can get fines and you just don't pay them and they go away. Well, I don't know where they go, but they eventually, you just stop getting them. They go to the iCloud. Yeah. <laughs> but it's true. I've, I don't remember the last time that I paid a fine. <laughs> My credit rating's probably fucked. We still haven't gotten our fines from the AFL thing yet. Oh, yeah. Better get on that. I wouldn't pay them. Next question's from Jacob Dickinson. Dickinson. Um, son. If you guys were exposed to nuclear radiation and got superpowers, what would you want them to be? Oh. Controlling time. Yeah, if you control time, you control everything. Really? Okay. Yeah. I would Jackson. just want a massive cog, that's all. Okay. I would be called the Big Dick Man. Oh, Big <laughs> BDM. Mandingo. Captain Big Cock. 
<laughs> and your cock shapes cape cape. <laughs> and I'd, I'd use my loads of cum to drown people like Spider-Man webbed. <laughs> like cover people. And his uniform would be a big testicle. <laughs> pull up to your neck. I'd, no, I probably wanted to look kind of cool. I'd want to like, yeah, maybe a big testy. Or at least the scrotum textured skin. <laughs> off my chin. <laughs> <laughs> With Cockman, man. He'll fuck the bad guys to death. <laughs> I reckon I'd fuck a bloke. He'll blow them down. <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, next question is from Justine Binger. Binger? Um, she touches on what we talked about as sleep paralysis last last week. Um, she used to suffer from sleep paralysis. She got it about eight times in a day once. That's pretty oh, intense. Wow. What? Have you ever had it? Sorry, I didn't hear it. Have sleep you ever paralysis? Sleep paralysis is where you sort of you're awake but your body's still asleep. Are your eyes open? No. Well, so oh, I don't know. Maybe I never it looked feels at like they're closed. It feels like they're open, but they're probably closed. I don't know. Uh, I know. I've, know heard, I've heard of it. It's like a move in Pokemon <laughs> paralysis. <laughs> <laughs> Paralyze your opponent. I think Pokemon invented oh. sleep paralysis. Yeah, they started it. Um, and their question was, um, uh, which is what we were touching on before. What is your belief in the paranormal? Oh, look, we, our, our, my beliefs have um, been undergoing quite a, an enormous change over the last recent years. I've always wanted to, but I've never had the proof to go by. I'm annoyingly, always very logical. I need evidence, and unless there's you know overwhelming evidence, there's nothing it takes, wrong with that. It takes a lot to convince me, but uh, you know, it's it's uh, yeah. I'm finding myself uh, more inclined to believe. I'm the same shit. as that. I need to see <clears throat> shit to believe it. Uh, Charlie Charlie was the deal for me. Yeah. Fucking what? Spoke to the, the spirit Charlie Charlie. Or yeah, we've had some is. fucked up shit happen it's too. It's up. fucking insane. Roll. He had a flirt. He had a flirt with me. We saw ghosts in America. Yeah, that's right. And, and the, the Racka Racka boys. We went to that same mountain to, and to yeah, do a, um, a Ouija board and nothing happened. Oh, I don't like Ouija's. Not on. Oh, mm. Next question is from Az. Um, We're doing one. First episode back next season. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, thank you, Legends, obviously, for uh, a great year. No including worries. you, Jackson. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, just thanking you guys for a great year. Even me? Yeah, even you. I didn't do anything. Maybe he's an OnlyFans member. Maybe. Um, question for everyone on the podcast, including Jackson. Um, what is it like being... Um, the uh, best. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What is it like being um, so known on social media and how does That's it affect your life? fucking shit. Yeah, yeah, you don't really don't like it anymore, eh? Uh, it's not that I don't like it anymore. I just fucking... Half the cunts that come up to me say the weirdest shit. Like, do a big flip. Like, what? <laughs> do I don't know. Salmon. <laughs> and like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's not that I don't like it. Like, I love making people laugh still. And I love seeing good reactions and messing with people and even annoying people and that. And I love getting love off people like in the streets and stuff. But I don't know what it is. I just fucking. I'm it just- is. It is very anxiety inducing sometimes though when you notice, you know, and you know, obviously we're not at that level but you definitely notice eyes on you and you just feel like you kind of a fully relax it's just like because like, it's like people expect you to constantly be the way you are in your content which yeah. just isn't like you should be eating ass always <laughs> just walking around with maddie up <laughs> <laughs> no but it's it's true it's like just because we make funny shit on the internet or porn or whatever the fuck it is we or me do it's just like you know yeah. yeah yeah well well, well said good <laughs> it's like actors in movies it's like not the way acting i think that's the difference between social media is that we kind of are our true selves in our content and all this stuff but it's like we also aren't like that 24 7 yeah it's, it's, like, it's a it's a snippet of a very high energy part of yeah. the day and then all of those snippets put together i think a lot a of people can that's relate a good to point. it because it's like everyone has their fucking highs and lows and these things and it's like I deal with my shit. I've dealt with a lot of mental health problems. Everyone fucking just about has. All of you guys, we all have. But like, I could just be in such a low state and just don't want to have to see anyone and I need to go down to the shop to get some shit or need to go do something. And then I have 10 people run up to me and say hello or whatever. And it's like, I don't want to be rude or give them a bad impression or whatever because I'm in a fucked mood and I'm like trembling in anxiety, not wanting to speak to anyone. And I just have to put a smile on and not be rude. And sometimes people are a little bit rude to me and I'm trying to like bite my tongue because I'm like, fuck these people, if I be rude back they're going to have that stained image of me just being a rude kind of Yeah, thing. no, I know what you mean. It's difficult. That's the it? only shitty thing about it. Other than that, I like doing it. Like, it's it's always been good fun. Like, it's what I've wanted to do. And, and at the beginning, like, it is fucking... The novel, like, the novelty is still there. You, you, I, like, it's it's so cool when people are like, oh, watch your videos. But, yeah, I can see how, how, how it would get old after a while. 
Um, he had a follow-up question as well um, for Jackson. He said, Jackson, have you ever been to Sarajevo? Sarajevo? What's Sarajevo. It? Sorry, is it Sarajevo? Spell it. It's capital of Bosnia. Yeah, I've been to Sarajevo. It's, it's pronounced, I think, Sarajevo. 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 Arthur, Sarajevo. I went there like two and a half, three years ago. Mm. What the fuck were you Is it a there? girl or a guy? And why guy. are they? Are they a Bosnian? Yeah, it must be. I'm <laughs> guessing. DC Leyepa. That means you are beautiful. Oh. <laughs> I hope he comments. I hope he comments. Now. What were you doing there? Holidays. No, I went to see Irvin and then we oh, went and then we drove true. from uh, Sarajevo to, from Bosnia. We drove to Split in Croatia. It was like a four hour drive, maybe I five. heard it's really beautiful. It's amazing. We mm. drove past that massive bridge that everyone jumps off. Yeah. The, you know, really famously known huge bridge that everyone jumps off. To kill themselves? No, 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 no. Like the Red Bull thing. Oh, um, right. It's a fucking famously known bridge. Did did is it diving? Red Bull did, diving? Did you jump? No, I didn't because it was fucking, I don't know, I, the birds chirping. And I, anyway, but like we drove to Split <laughs> and I, I asked Irvin, can we stop so I can jump off? And he's like, no, we've got to be at this meeting. And I was like, shit, damn, I really wanted to jump off. <laughs> but we went to Split in Croatia for the Ultra Music Festival in around August, I think it was, 2017, yeah. And I remember he taught me how to say you are beautiful in Bosnian because I think it means the same in Croatian if I'm right. And I was just running around this festival telling every girl a few times as well. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah, I got a few kisses. Yeah, boys. <laughs> got a few kissy pieces. All right, last question is from Lake MacBogan. Um, I'm going to change my name to Jackson's just for this one. But um, Marty, Michael and Jackson, if you three were the human centipede... Um, who would want to be in each? Who would you want in each position? I think Jackson in the middle makes uh, sense. Oh, well, I guess it's a ring though, right? Would it be an enclosed circle? I guess, I guess one, so. You one could do person that. doesn't have to eat us, or is it a three-way? You could do it either way. You could have a circle, or you could have a three. Can I would join. No, the centipede is. Let's a Let's make it a line. circle. Yeah, it's a line. But then we're all doing the same shit. So someone's Everyone's gonna have to be in the be middle. A circle. No, if you're doing a circle, everyone's getting their ass. Yeah, up, exactly. And you're eating ass. Oh yeah. man, imagine so having. I reckon it should be Jackson in the middle because then he gets to eat ass like he loves and <laughs> my ass eaten, which yeah. I also love. That's oh, a yeah, win-win. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. And Marty, <laughs> let's, let's, Marty, I'll have to wrap my lips around Jackson's asshole. No, no, you'd fuck, such you'd, a powerful you'd, tongue. Because it's oh, I guess if it's a centipede, I've so got a lot of hours it. backed up of ass eating too. Whoever gets me licking their ass is going to be in for a treat. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That would be me. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah, bro. Michael enjoys uh, the odd shit just for for a delicacy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so perhaps uh, maybe Michael sew his lips to Jackson's butt yeah, yeah, buttock guess, slur. Actually, it'd make more sense for me to eat shit. Uh, yes, see, Michael enjoys dabbling in the shit slur. <laughs> I kind of saw quite. I had shit on my face the other day. I would like to ask a question. Yeah. Of course. Oh. Sorry. What are these fucking things? We nearly became a centipede. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. Uh, do you That's have people the... that send you this shit? Yeah, dude. yeah, hundred percent. We got two. We got three PO box fucking fucking things. I'm worried if I give it a PO box, I'm just gonna get some fucking pipe bomb or something. Yeah, that's what I am so scared of. It. I'm so scared like of people gonna send us and acid just explodes It'll in my mouth. Pipe bombs and sex toys for you. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. I'm sweating up a spoon. Have you ever thought about doing your own sex toy line? We almost did it in like fuck, maybe May or April or some shit because Maddie has already had a mold done for like a pocket pussy and I was going to do one of my asshole for all the gay people who we've got a lot of gay people on our OnlyFans and mm. I was going to do one of that because there's no point in me making a mold of my dildo it's like a thumb but like we were going to do one of Maddie's puss and my asshole and, and do that and we had a company that we're going to do a really big company and I reckon we would have made a lot of money but like we just never really got around to doing it He's got to do it. All right, well, thank you very much for... Um, we'll, we'll open the P.O. Box presents together, but thanks for um, coming on again. And we fucking... Jackson? We love you. And um, we support you in whoever oh, you showing fuck. Showing his talent. All right? Jackson? That's him saying thank you. That's how he cries. He's being very emotional. It's okay. That's all right. Don't you fucking touch me. Hey, come over here. We'll have a little hug for a moment. Oh, fuck that. Nah, it's too like fucking hot. So uncomfortable, I'm right? I'm so hot. Mm. Right. I'm like lightheaded from the heat. Oh, I know. I'm fucking... So I'm so sleepy. What's happening here, huh? Oh. Paul Gallon fights tomorrow night. All right. <coughs> oh, fuck. Now we got... Man, we're going to be cramped up again. Quickly, Lockie, get over here. <laughs> Uh, like oh, let, oh no! Let me, let me, oh no! It's coming down. I can see it. Let me. Uh, well, it's the season finale, so it doesn't fucking matter anyway. It's lovely to come on here and touch base with everyone. I really appreciate you guys that are watching. You're all bloody legends, even the ones that don't like me. But that's cool. Fucking, fucking love you. Yeah, fucking we fucking love you too, mate. You're a bloody good bloke and a bloody see good you, mate. Jackson. Oh, Michael, you're out of frame. Um. All right. Oh, then. really? 
All right, for the next uh, part of the podcast, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna oh, we're gonna get fucking Lachlan Gottfried on. You, you've seen him in videos. He's a fucking little genius. He, and we're gonna do the P on one boxing with him. And uh, here he is. Let's uh, without further ado, let's. Uh, Okay, this is just a little quick shout out to someone who has sent us a package like five times. Apparently. Yeah, five separate packages, and they just haven't arrived. So fuck you, Australian Post. It might be, it might be for many reasons. We don't, but yeah, he apparently sends us packages, and they just never arrive. So thank you very much, Wayne. Yeah. Wayne, you're a fucking legend, and thank you for trying to send all that shit through. We appreciate yeah. it. One of these might be Wayne's here. We don't know. You never know. But we love you, Wayne. Oh, I think this is. Look, I can, this is signed by Wayne. Is this mine? Fuck yeah. All right, everyone. This is Lachlan. Lachlan, how you fucking been, man? Hey, yeah, Lachlan. Yourself? Yeah, mate. Look, we're not too bad. Um, we're probably going to have to buy another microphone for next season, eh? Yeah. I, I like it like this. It's pretty easy. I like it too, but Michael keeps leaning away from me. It's just very fuck. It's so hot. Come on, I man. I hate this. Let's be close. Like we used to, man. Come on. And some head- another pair of headphones mm. as well. Speaking, speaking of hot, should we fucking... Oh, lucky bring, <clears throat> bring it oh, close. Yeah. Should we, get should get we dazzle in some yeah, hotness? Let's, let's have, just get it done. It might like cool us down. All right, so last week someone sent us uh, these like oh, super, good. super hot chilies. Uh, they're peanuts and they're like like it says all these warning labels on them and we said you know what we'll wait for next week when the boys are here and we'll have one how many Scoville is it should we have three it's each it's all of them it's all of the Scovilles should we have three each only if Matt three has is. nine it doesn't say oh, oh. I'd have so, one so scary when they don't write the, how, the, Scov- the Scovilles yeah it's not even food they've I think signed it's just, it I think it's like a um, it's just more of like a I like hot stuff. Like an ornament. Ooh, it's not. Oh, How many do we face? have each? How many? Three? No. Just have one. Oh, they're big. They look like rocks of paprika. This is an amethyst. <laughs> All, right. All right. Are you ready, everyone? Down the jaw oh, they shit. go. Touch oh, your man, eyes it's after. It's going to be so shit. I fucking hate this chilly shit. It's oh, 70 God. degrees here. <laughs> anyway. All right. Three, two, two one. one. Are we following? <laughs> Oh, you can't do it, my boy. I'm going. I'm going to pull it. Oh, I'm going to wash it down. Oh man, that's already quite painful. I only had it <coughs> resting on my what? tongue for a very short period of time. <coughs> oh, here we go. Get ready. Yeah. <laughs> all right. While we're oh, all in no. excruciating pain, let's start going through these PO box. <laughs> <laughs> So fucking hot. His first one's from Wayne. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, no. A bad out of ten. Ah, oh, pretty fucking bad. Ah. Yeah. All right, we got gifts. We got gifts wrapped up. Oh, my tongue, my tongue is so fucking no. hot. <laughs> ah. Hey, uh, Woo. <laughs> please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah all right he's written us wayne has written us a massive letter here oh man i'm lightheaded a bit what did you just eat well i don't have water in my mouth it hurts too much Do you want to- oh you eat hot nuts <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> one of those ones please <laughs> yes please oh I'm so all, right. I didn't- all right let's do this paperwork <laughs> Thank you. It's a little bit cool oh. in here. Oh, I'm sweating. Ah. All right. <laughs> Is it really that painful? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Uh, Wayne has written us a massive letter to go oh, with his uh, present, but we'll read it after, Wayne. We're going to read it because it's like two huge pages, and we've already been going for like an hour, but we're oh. going to open the presents, all right? Oh, I'm um, sweating. Matt, oh, I'm sweating. Here's one for you, mate. Really? <laughs> oh, I got a present. And we got one for Julian. You can open that one, Lockie. <laughs> Boom. And we got a letter here for Michael. We got a letter here for Marty. Uh, it says here, please open last and off camera. He sent us some notes, so we will do that. We'll respect your wishes, Wayne. Michael I'm, looks sweat- like I'm sweating so much. Michael looks like he's. Well, I thought you were doing bad, Lucky. You're doing well. Michael's struggling. I'm a very wet person right now. Very wet. 
<laughs> oh, it's a sweaty old season finale, isn't it? <laughs> I spat it out. I don't remember last season finale being quite so sweaty, was it? We used to have an air conditioning. <laughs> Ma, you, you beat out so hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have the complete series of Bottom. Yes. All right, this is a show I've never heard of before. It's a comedy series called Bottom. I'll hold it up to the camera. There you go. Looks like two dudes. It's three DVDs. And we will watch that, and we will let you know how it goes. We're on fucking holiday soon, so we're watching this, whether you fucking like it or not. You have been a fucking mute today because you don't want to come anywhere near me. You're really hot. I'm very hot internally and hot. Who sent that to us? Wayne. Wayne. What do, you, what do you got there, Lock? Thank you, Wayne. Julian got a wax and seal. Holy shit, Julian's gonna love that. Yeah, he so needs So when he it. writes to his pen pals, I know he's got a few. Or when he does his... <laughs> um, when he stamps his bags. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say that. And then I'll leave this for him. It's a personal message for Julian. And are, you, are you in pain? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing pretty good, eh? All right, and we'll read these letters later, Wayne. And, um... This is a uh, thing of uh, fucking schmackos for uh, for Bosley and Michael, I guess. What did I get? So thank you very much. We got we got the thing that I opened. This, oh. and you got a personalised letter. But you, he says to open it off camera. Oh, beard oil! I got so beard oil. oil. Mate, what a legend! Oh, there you go. Hey, thank you, you so much. Drink some now. Uh, okay. And you got shampoo. Did I? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that's bold. Sorry. I'm sorry. Why? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next. What do we have here, everybody? Man. I believe this one's from Sabrina, is that right? Uh, <coughs> that is correct. This is from Sabrina. Oh my god. Long time fan. Fuck me. From Bavaria. She sent this. Oh, this is difficult with yeah. three people. Bavaria. Oh, where's, where's that? It's like near uh, Germany. Oh, Ach du lieber. I was on a scheiße, man. Oh, here, what's happening here? Was ist denn das? Hier müsst ihr es haben, oder was? Oh, mal sehen, was hier drin ist, was? Oh, mein Gott! Oh, so heiß heute, was? I want to be the powder on my head, and now it's quite hot. Oh, my God, we have an edible anus pure milk chocolate. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> Let's have a look at the ass. Oh. It'll be melted. Yeah, that oh, might be a bit good. melted. Oh, oh, wow, it's literally like a little asshole. Just I'll hold that up to the camera. There you go. Matt, do you want an asshole? Oh, yeah. That's like what a, what Michael sees when he's oh, watching me do... Jackson's going to be so upset he's not here right now. Oh go! Oh. Do you want one, Lockie? Oh, they literally... Mm. They literally look like little assholes. Oh. Yeah, little bum-bums, aren't they, Michael, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Michael, it's not getting any easier. No. Little bum-bums. All right, put them in your mouth. Oh, they're... Oh, apparently they're quite chilly, though, so be careful. <laughs> you just see Michael Faye cry. Oh. oh, not bad. Chili, so All right, Sabrina also sent a book that says, Are you shitting me? 1004 facts that will scare the crap out of you. Let's open a page at random and have a this. read. I can't fucking do this. My face? <laughs> <laughs> my face is so hot. Is that worse than that? Um, what other chili thing do we eat? Chip. Oh, yeah, the chip. Oh, it's a comb. I reckon it's worse than chip. Oh, wow, that sucks for you guys. Oh, no. Anyway. Investigators believe that thieves who broke into a Hooters restaurant in San Diego in 2013 stole the jukebox because they mistook it for an ATM. They likely realized their mistake and then tried to make a withdrawal and warrants cherry pie started playing. What the uh, fuck? What? Is your belly on fire? Not my head. Do I wipe it? I, had the, I held the nut in this hand and I wiped my head. Oh. It's like burning. It's just very powdery. It's very hot. <laughs> I've got shit all over my difficult. face. <laughs> uh, a lot of the audience was telling me I have shit on my face. Fact number 189. <laughs> harvesting... Oh, hang on. Fact number 190. Made of fermented fish, the Nordic dish surströming smells so bad it's usually consumed outdoors. What have you eaten? Surströming, you've had that. Yeah, I was there for that. That was man. disgusting. Yeah, that was fucked up. Oh. Very nice book, so thank you for that. And we have some more presents to go through. What do we have here? A little wand or something like that, Michael? Hey, do you want to open that one, hey? Yeah, you can have a little look there. How's that, hey? Did you run out of ice cream, Michael? <laughs> That's it. You're fucked now. Uh, so hot. I feel like it's getting well. No. Right, Once I'm you swallow that, you're done. Shut up! <laughs> right, Mike, Michael, this is for you. It's a little, um... You're right. A finger. Fuck! He's right! <laughs> it's nice when it's in your mouth. Since it's gone, done. That's it. <laughs> 
This was quite a silly idea doing that right before the P.O. box, wasn't it? Oh my god, he's so fucking look, right. Look at my, you look, fucking cunt. Yeah, yeah. Look how much bigger my present is than yours. Oh. Have a look. That's yours. <laughs> okay. Oh! Now get more! More ice cream, please! <laughs> No. Alright, so Michael received a little, um, what would you call that? Just a little finger. Something giving him the finger. And I've got this big, much bigger present here. A box. And inside it is... A bigger Anthrax! Anthrax. Oh, fuck. We have... Oh, wow. Oh, you got a That's mug. Cool. Cool. A mug that says unt on it, but if you look at it in a certain way, it says cunt. <laughs> oh, you see cute. that? Very oh, clever. Evil. Mm. A cup of cunt. Mm. A cup of cunt I'll have later. And little letters in here. Shall we read them now too? Oh. I can't fucking do anything. Just leave me alone. Too Marty. Oh, yeah. oh, Some, something about this cup told me it would be hey, the perfect cup for you. Here. Let your tea taste even better with this special yeah. cunt cup. Only oh. for the bloodiest cunts of all cunts. Oh, thank you. What poem is that from? That's beautiful. Lovely words. Thank That's you. Cool. Thank you kindly. Okay. Sabrina. Okay. Fucking beautiful. Michael will read his later. He's a bit um, okay. unable to do anything. Can you read mine right? for me? Uh, no. No, I'm not fucking reading yours for oh, you. Is that, that was next to me. Ooh. Oh, look, he's just pulled out another little letter. That's from me. Anyway, this letter says... Oh, it's oh. a Christmas letter because Michael hates them. <laughs> Merry Christmas, legends. Keep doing weird shit. Science in inverted brackets. Christmas wishes want to put the gloves on. I don't know what that means. Oh, I remember last podcast you said it was how much of a waste of time and money it is. <laughs> <laughs> is that what That's what you get, Michael. You get your fucking. You say it on like, like you're sending it. You, Says you bloody right, mate, eh? Hey? All the fucking rubbish. Hey. Wow, what a good little PO box to finish with. Guys, if you want to send some shit in, we open everything live on the podcast. There it is, right there. The letters and words. If you're and stuff. having a break. Does that mean like your first podcast back? There's going to be so much shit. Uh possibly. Yeah, that's what happened last year. We had to go through a bit of shit. But oh. um, yeah. So fucking. And by the way, guys, the podcast will be back probably middle of Feb. Yeah, probably early Feb sometime. Um, early to mid Feb. All right. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for fucking sending so much shit through. We bloody love it. It's like Christmas every single Tuesday. Isn't that right, Michael? Hey? I think it's getting better. I think it's starting to heal. You, you can fucking it? finally yeah. talk. It's getting a little bit better. Mm. All right. Uh, now, Lockie. Yeah. What, yeah. The, what the fuck are you doing with your life? Oh, look. Jackson went on holidays for a bit, so I was just fucking at home, just playing so many games for like a ridiculous amount of hours. Have you started twitching yet? No. Nah. You got to get on that, man. Yeah. It's so Twitch. fun. I don't know. How do you t- how do you entertain people for so long? Yeah, well, you don't even have to talk the whole time. You, people just want to watch you game, I've realized. We're lucky because there's two of us, so we can talk to each other. But if I was on my own, yeah, I, I, would, I don't think I'd talk I think you have to either all. be like really funny or like kind of good at the game, like pretty good. Yeah, you're, well, really dude, you're fucking heaps nah, good at the games. Nah, nah, you're not a funny the, little not lad. the games I play. Which games? League of Legends. It's like a very, you have to, I don't know, know the game. It would just be so boring if someone watched it. Nah, what I feel about like- Apex? Mm. Yeah, I'm alright at Apex. I can do it. Can you do like cameo twitches where, say, these boys will start a Twitch stream and you can jump in and join them? Of course, I we could know. do. I'm sure we could do something. I'm sure, like we can that. do that. And you can do heaps yeah. of shit. The Nelk boys are just gambling and shit online. Oh you c- man, you could you They're- could like stream Jackson's OnlyFans. Yeah, on Twitch. Get paid twice for the same content. I saw some oh, social media people. Price. Um, <laughs> they they streamed live a live poker game on their Twitch. Yeah, exactly. And played it together. Oh, yeah. A bunch of social media guys. What else could you stream on Twitch? I heard Twitch was strict. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Apparently it is. If you get your little fucking cock out, even a nut side, I've thought side about, view of a I've nut. I've thought about Twitching before and I've thought of like things I could do. And I was like, imagine if like every 10 bucks someone donated, I would just fucking rip a billy. And then I would just keep going until I'm fucking asleep. Until you, have a, streaming. Until you have a seizure. <laughs> and then you come to and you got donated another $10. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I'd just keep doing it. <laughs> that would be like... Oh, man. I'm fucking... Oh. <laughs> My head is this on is fire. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> yeah, come on our podcast. Come and sit in your own pool and <laughs> sweat and sick. Um, fucking... You're right about the forehead touching. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> oh my god! Because <laughs> uh, like that's where I grabbed it and I like wiped the sweat off. Mine's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> yep. oh, happens. Fuck me. It happens. Oh, this do is it. Wipe the best it on your Christmas head. Wipe it on your head. No. <laughs> 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did your so eye? So close to my eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if done. you caught it with your eyelids. <laughs> it like hit here. Now ears are on fire. <laughs> um, yeah. So what? So what's your plan next year, Lucky? I guess you're just gonna fucking see, see what happens. Really, yeah, you don't have just, a you don't have a like a a goal or a fucking well, not 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 a goal, but you don't you don't you're not you don't have a set fucking yeah. process of things. No, I should though. Like I'm so like yeah, but you're so dude. How old are you? You're 22. fucking 20, 22. <laughs> what were we doing at 22? You were fucks, cunt. You didn't even know how to fucking ring a bank. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know how to book an appointment. Still get your mum mum to book your doctor's appointment. Yeah, you didn't know how to make. Food eat gummy worms for dinner every night. Everything's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing very well in comparison to some people. Yeah, but then I see people like Jake Paul. What Jake Paul is 23 yeah. or 24? Like that is. Yeah, he's also got sexual assault allegations. Yeah, but that is like even Logan Paul's 24. That is like fucking crazy. Two years older than me, and he is like. He literally acts like a 30 year old Like he's doing insane Yeah but there's Yeah some people just like that It's yeah. just fucking Jake Paul's gonna fight Conor McGregor Oh he's oh, trying he re- to Yeah he released some crazy shit today yeah, He was I like know. What's up your Irish cunt That's what he said to I Conor know. Surely Conor's just gonna go privately oh, And I just stab him or something This is fucked <laughs> It's on fire again. As soon as you run out of ice cream Everything's fucked Maybe <laughs> give him a carrot There's man. a small bit of water here Okay, fuck this, man. Uh, Do you want some carrot? No, you can't eat carrots. Oh, yeah. You can't. What about some baby spinach? Let that rest on your tongue. Okay. Just don't think about oh, it. Oh, hang on. There's a there's a celery stick here. <laughs> now, uh, Lucky, you make some very fu- You have some Full very water. fucking- water. That would be good. Chew some- it. Okay. You have Wait. some very funny ideas, um, and you've, you've done some fucking banger videos to Jackson over the years and to us as well. You had a fucking great prank call idea earlier in the year that, that didn't come to fruition because it's sort of, you, you're thinking about doing it while um, we went on our little mid-year break from filming for a bit. Tell everyone what you were going to do because it would have been oh, so fucking good. It would have been on the podcast too. I was about 30% of the way through almost. So what I was going to do, I, was, I, was, I had Julian take secret photos of Michael over like a week and he would just take photos of like, Michael out shopping, they would be at lunch and shit like that. And then like I had photos of inside Michael's house and I was going to mail it to him on his P.O. box and he was going to open it and just see all these fucking photos over him <laughs> over this long period of time. <laughs> That's like, that's that what would have been, been stalking him. Why didn't you do that? <laughs> that would have been so... <laughs> Why didn't you do you that? I don't know. You would have freaked out because yeah. when you first moved in, you were so fucking paranoid and, and f- stressed out. You would have fucking fallen How for would you that. have reacted? Like, if you just, like, saw all these, like, over so long of a time. Like, I saw the photos, some of them. Like, some of them were so good. It was, like, just a photo of, like, you could just see, it was, like, from out in the front yard and just you, like, walking past the door and shit. Julian did it so well. Julian even set it up and got... Julian in the photo as well, <laughs> yeah. so it was like it couldn't have been him either. Ah. Man, it was it was oh yeah, very clever. Very but it, was, clever. it was so hard to like just set up and plan. I wish you did it. Yeah, yeah. maybe we could do it to Matt next year. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get him with it. No, I'll no. still do it with Michael next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll I'll still do it. <laughs> we'll still do it to him. This is fucked, man. I can't get my fucking face is on fire from you throwing the nut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, I can't touch here because I'm gonna spread it. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> the fuck are they? Like they're Satan's. They're um the peanuts. <laughs> the, I want to see how many Scovilles they are the after Carolina oh, Reaper Peanut Challenge. Surely it says how many Scovilles. I did one. I did the Carolina Reaper chip not long ago. Hey, Lockie, yeah, can, can you, you explain, that, explain that Scovel thing you're talking about? Scovel. That's yeah. how they measure heat, the heat, oh, okay. the hotness of things. Oh, it doesn't say. Like I had the hottest thing I've ever had was like oh, it was like god. the third hottest sauce in the world. Um, something like that. I had it on a chicken wing, and it was like. Um, eight million scovels or something like that, and I think Don't! that bur- the, bur- the burger that Burger Edge had was like three million scovels. So I had double Ooh. that and more. Oh my okay. god! And it was. Did you? See, oh, you had the burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, I had it too. But yeah, the, the wings I had were double that and a little bit more. That's not even food. How the like? No, no. So like to the one the wing I had, you had to eat it with gloves, and you had to sign like a waiver. So like, oh, you just had to sign the waiver, like. Oh this like this would burn God. your skin. Yeah. So I don't it's understand how you can skin. put it in your mouth. Like, you may as well people just may as well start drinking fucking acid. I did it at a pub and I was just in the fucking cold room, just like holding my head against the wall because it was so cold. Like it was <laughs> fucked. I would have it was liked ridiculous. To see that. Jackson would be in his car in the air. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jackson's fucking gone. He's probably, he's probably <laughs> to get an Uber home. <laughs> 
the heat's gone from my mouth now. It's better. Yeah, I'm fine. I don't know what you guys are <laughs> complaining about. My face is on fire now from you throwing the flit at. What about your little arm where I got no, you there? My arm's okay. Oh, I damn it. <laughs> yeah, definitely like more nerve endings. More nerve what endings me? and stuff in your face. So, yeah, makes sense. Mm. What is? That. It's heat Yeah. Did you Google the right thing? Tube of Terror. Tube of Terror. Carolina Reaper. Fucking bargain. Can't let it go to waste, boys. There you go. No, <laughs> I'm a bit <laughs> bloody hungry, hey? Yeah, pop another Look one. A little baby knot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fuck laughs> I'm going to say this. This is good shit. I'm, I feel like I'm going to fuck with you with this somewhere. I'm going to put this in a little hidey place and maybe put some in your salad. Oh. <laughs> maybe put some in your mm, My protein. Face fired, <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> face is still hot. My face is still very hot. <laughs> No. All right. Well, um, fucking hell. We've been. How long have we been going? Aaron, ten. Yeah, we've been Ooh, going for a fucking podcast. Well, Lucky, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Thank you for the nuts. We fucking love you, and we <laughs> fucking love Jackson, and um, we'll, we'll get you on again next year because I, with no uh, no doubt in my mind that this podcast next year will be one of the <laughs> one of the top top top. One of the top tops. What did you come in that voting thing? What did you come? I think. What did we find out? Uh, seventh. I think. Seventh. That's not bad. Fucking uh, bullshit. Who won it? Um, some chicks. Uh, one of them was on the Bachelor. Oh, one of them was on the Bachelor. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay. She used to write reviews of the Bachelor comedy reviews. But one of them, I remember one. I one of them is. On the yeah, one was on the Bachelor. Uh, she wrote reviews. And um, they had uh, the uninspired, unemployed boys on not long ago. Oh really? That podcast, and we're six six down from that. Anyway, that's not, bad. that's not bad. Yeah, look, it's pretty fucking good. But what we need to do is get like aircon. No, I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, you're right. I haven't minded. It kind of gives it like that unique, like you know, not many podcasts yeah. have this. Not many podcasts it's are in a sauna. Feeling. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. it's like hot ones, but except it's just a really hot house. Yeah, you never you're never, <laughs> you're never quite happy or comfortable, and that's what we yeah. that's what we're all about here. <laughs> ne- never quite being happy or fucking comfortable anywhere. <laughs> Alright, Lucky. Well, right, thank you very much. On. We'll fucking we'll see you in the oh. new year. We love you, man. Lean in there and give him a little touch. There you go. Yeah, I'll great. stand at the side for this prank call. Mm. I'm so excited. Mm. Hopefully, I don't fuck it up. Mm. All right, here we go. Mm. All right, everyone, shut the fuck up. Yeah, no, it's great. Dominoes. Mm. <laughs> This is Bailey. How can I help you today? Oh, hello, Bailey. Um, my name's uh, Margaret. I'm um, just after a uh, pickup order, if, if that's uh, possible today at all. Wait, was that a pickup or delivery? Sorry. Uh, pickup, please, if, oh. if possible. Yeah. I'll, um, yep. So I might... I uh, haven't had Domino's for a while, but I might get the barbecue chicken and I'll get that one on thick crust, thanks. Yeah, that's all good. So the barbecue chicken and bacon on deep, yep. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Thank you. Um, and then look, I'll get um, I'll, I'll get a couple of meat lovers, obviously, <laughs> classic. <laughs> Everyone loves okay. bloody meat lovers. <laughs> and um, yeah. what sort of uh, is there some sort of um, some sort of meal deal we can do here? Like if you order heaps of pizzas, is there some sort of meal deal that we could do, or is it just sort of um, uh, you know or too big an order for that? Yeah, I was going to say, if you throw in a garlic bread and balls off, we can actually make that one cheaper for the combo deal. Okay, let's do that. Let's let's chuck in a garlic bread and a bottle of Coke and another couple of pizza orders coming through. Do you guys have the uh, pepperoni at all for the um, pe- pepperoni on the, on the thin there, on the thin crust? Uh, yes, we do, yeah. Okay, great. So just a couple more. Oh, what have I got written here? Um, uh, the, uh, oh, yes. The, can I also get a vegetarian pizza? Do you guys have the vegetarian pizza? Uh, yep, we have the spice vegetarian. Great! What have we got there? Can you read that order back to me? Okay. So we have the thin Hawaiian, the, the barbecue chicken and bacon, the classic barbecue meal. There's a garlic bread, bowl of soft drink, and also a thin pepperoni, a thin spice vegetarian. Um, so uh, how many garlic breads have we got so far? Uh, we have one garlic bread and a bowl of soft drink. Listen, look, we'll, we'll, we'll add another couple of garlic breads to it and maybe another two, another two bottles of Coca-Cola. Okay, so we've got two more garlic breads and two more bottles of Pepsi. Yeah! Chicken, I want some chicken. Okay, and that's everything today then? Chicken. And the wings! Do you guys have any chicken wings at all? Uh, yep, yeah. we have uh, chicken wings. We've got either a five or a set back of those. Yep. Yeah. 
Then a nine two nine. Yeah. Now look, it's lovely supporting small business. Yeah, that's all good, man. We'll get on ready about ten minutes. Then. Um, look. <sighs> Can we cancel that? Fuck. Yeah, that's all good, man. Oh! <laughs> it's so hard to redo it. It's so hard to get that scream right. I should have practiced the no, scream before No, you fucking had it. the scream there. It was just hard because he kept going. The poor boy. Oh, the lava cake. I didn't know how to. I didn't. I was trying to think of a way to like to make him end the prank call. You know what I mean? My cheek is still on fire. <laughs> That's fucked. But yeah, Fuck. so much pressure with these prank calls now. Dude, no, I literally was- get fucking like. That was good. I enjoyed it. Don't fucking lie, Margaret Michael. Little is. A, I can't believe Margaret Little's a guy. I'm just gonna have to. I'm just. Gonna, yeah, I couldn't <laughs> correct him when he said, "No, nah, it's all good, dude." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll I'll try and do some more Margaret Littles. I'm not happy with that one. I'll say see if I can do some more over the break. All right, to make up for that. <gasps> fucking hell! I just want to get out of this fucking house. It's so yeah, fucking dude, hot. I'm so done. Look at this. This is how anyway, I have to cool myself. Thank you to everyone who fucking listens, comments, shares, watches our fucking weird podcast. We'll be back next year. It's going to be the best in the world. And fucking hell, we are, are the, the best. best. We're, We're the best. best. We're, We're the, the motherfucking best. 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 best.